Hello, today I'm going to make mirchi and lasun achar. For that, I have taken around uh, 250 grams of mirchi and around 12 to 15 big cloves of lasun. And I cut the mirchi in, in this shape, like from one mirchi, I cut it into three. And now I'm going to make a powder mixture of these things. One tablespoon soft, one tablespoon jeera, one tablespoon rye, few methi seeds, and one tablespoon kalonji. So I have already heated up the tawa, and I'm going to roast it in here. While it's getting roasted, I am keeping an eye on it. Let me tell you some health benefits of garlic. Garlic or lasun is used in Indian cooking a lot and it has so many health benefits that I would like to uh, enumerate them one by one. First of all, it's a very good um, ingredient to improve your immune system. So if your immune system is good, then you are or likely not likely to fall sick with colds and flu as often and lasun is also known to reduce blood pressure in people with hypertension and uh, you can include garlic pills along with your radical regular blood pressure lower medications so it's an adjuvant to your main therapy meanwhile i'll see what's the status of this it's called until you see that uh, all the moisture has evaporated from all those seeds and lasun is also uh, lasun also has a compound called allicin now this allicin is a kind of antibiotic like it kills microorganisms like salmonella and fungi so it's helpful in fighting infection so same we go to the first point anything which fights infection is good for your immune system and last but not the least it's an excellent detox i'll explain to you in a minute what detoxification in the body means i think the seeds are cracking Yeah, so you can see these seeds, they are heated up, they are crackling and I can smell nice aroma coming out of it. Now I am going to grind this in mixi but mind you not, don't make it into a very fine powder, thoda sa dardara hi rakhna hai usko, okay? So let me grind this, it will be quick. I'm going to add that powdered masala. It's not opening. <laughs> I think I put it too tight. Okay. It goes in here. I'm going to add some salt to it. Salt acts as a preservative in uh, homemade achars. So it's uh, a good idea to add a liberal amount. Okay. I had this pink salt, pure Himalayan pink salt. So I'm adding that. But you can add your regular sea salt to it. Now meanwhile, I have heated some oil and to that oil, I am going to add some haldi.
Now, mind you, haldi or turmeric is also an excellent antibacterial. So, the West has realized the importance of garlic and turmeric. So, you get turmeric capsules, you get garlic capsules, and they are uh, sold in all the health food stores. So, what better way to consume it in the form of a char? Okay. Now this is the oil with haldi in it. I'm going to add this oil in here. Mind you, the oil also acts as a preservative in homemade achar. So the more, the better. So I think I'm going to pour all of it. See how beautiful the color has come? The green chilies with the yellow turmeric and the white garlic. Now I'm going to add some lemon juice to it. This lemon juice also acts as preservative. So the lemon juice, oil and salt all of these are going to make the shelf life of this achar longer and also to be on the safer side i'm going to store it in the refrigerator and it's better to consume in two months so as i said after every recipe i like to taste it to see how it is very good in a couple of days the flavor of the mirchi and um, the lesson will come in the oil and it will become more flavorful so i hope you liked my recipe okay allah face